All right, so the next thing I'm going to show you guys is what I've done with the CA-2A and the drum tracks over here on this drum bus. So here are all my drum tracks, these eight drum tracks right here. And what I've done is I've sent them to a drum reverb bus. That's over in the bus section right over here. And it's going through the reverb 2 with a little bit of EQ. And then it's going to be hitting the CA-2A down at the bottom there. Uh, that's a reverb right there. And then here's a CA-2A. I don't have it activated right now. So let's take a listen to what the reverb sounds like currently. All right, so now we're going to add in the CA-2A on the drum reverb. Okay, so let's go ahead and isolate these tracks, and I'll show you what it sounds like without it, with it, without it, with it, without it, and with it. So what I'm doing here is I'm creating a drum room using the reverb and the CA-2A. The R37 knob is set all the way down because I don't want to attenuate any high frequencies. And I have the photocell memory set to fast reset because I want a big boomy room sound. After that, I've got a ton of peak reduction down here with some gain. And that's really giving it that pushing and pulling sound that we want out of a room and a live sound that comes from a drum set. All right, so let's unmute it and we'll listen to it again. with, without, with. So it makes a really big difference in the quality of the drum set.